I said, Jake and Papa, leave me. I told you he was going to be on the line. We debuted the record last week. Show me Sammy Lee Bush is on the line. What's going on with you? Still the prince. Yeah. <laughs> What's good, mama? How you doing? I'm good. You know what I'm saying? The weather down here is, is great. I'm feeling real good when I heard this record show me. I'm like, Sammy is back. Where you been? Tell us what's been going on. I mean, because you changed your name, and now you changed your name back. Like, tell us what's going on. What's, catch us up real quick, just real quick. Um, After, you know, 2012, I did the mixtape uh, under the Sammy brand, Insomnia. That's when I kind of found myself sonically, and I knew what void I had to fill in R&B. So if you sleep, you can get it at livemixtapes.com, datpiff.com. It's still available for the free 99. Um, in 2013, I thought, what could be dope? Because I wanted to do an EP and release it, you know, digitally, Google um, Play as well as iTunes. So I thought for like an expansion of the Sammy brand, we will switch up and go by my middle name, which is Lee. My last name is Bush. And um, we debuted in the top 10 on iTunes um, with the EP that we released. And uh, I took that next year just to focus on music, man, to focus on the album and get these singles ready for the comeback. And, and you know, the world know me as Sammy. That's what they fell in love with since I was a kid. So. I always knew when I came back mainstream, it would be under the Sammy brand. Okay, okay, okay. And you back with this hot record featuring Yin Yang Twins, Show Me. Yeah. Tell yeah. us about Show this me, record. Man. Um, it's so crazy. So shout out to my uh, engineer, Demetrius Bell. He was uh, in the studio with Mr. Hankey and Kylie Park and all of them. And he was just going through some tracks. And Mr. Hankey played some tracks and he played me that track. And I was like, yo, that's a smash. So I flew out to L.A. And um, I thought it was dope that, you know, DJ Mustard got the wave right now with the West Coast bounce. But to me, that's the ATL sound. And, you know, I've been in Atlanta for 10 years now, so mm -hmm. it's like my home away from Florida. Yeah. And I wanted to kind of pay homage to those who I felt created this thing we call Turn Up, in yeah. which is the Yin Yang Twins. If you remember the late 90s and the early 2000s, it was like Lil John and Big Lil Scrappy and, and Yin Yang Twins. I remember mm -hmm. in high school when uh, To the Window, To the Wall came on, you know, you had to find you a girl because that was like the ultimate twerk record for the girl. So yeah. I thought it would be dope, man, to introduce, um, to reintroduce them to those who grew up with Yin Yang Twins as well as myself. And then for those who don't know who Yin Yang Twins are, you know, we got the computer at the palm of our hands and the internet, we can do our research. So um, it was a dope collab and I knew it would be something that nobody was expecting. Um, from myself because myself as well as Yin Yang Twins have been under the radar for a minute but the feedback has been really really dope and I'm just happy everybody's loving the record DJs is banging with it the radio station so uh, the video is shot it'll be out in a couple weeks so I'm excited man to get back to work on a main uh, on the main stage so you say you've been collecting these records you back mainstream so the album what what you gonna show us in 2015 well no what you gonna show us this summer because the song's called show me so let us know what you showing us this summer yeah, 2015 the, the, the summer is mine you know we have uh the buzz record show me out right now and then um it'll be on itunes google play amazon real soon uh make sure you follow me on instagram and twitter so you'll see the date which is sammy always s-a-m-m-i-e-a-l-w-a-y-s but I'm just trying to give people great music to party to, to love to, to sex to, to cry to. You know uh -oh, what I mean? It's just this uh -oh. gumbo of, of, of elements that I feel we as humans, we all experience that in relationships. You know, I think somehow um, R&B has became too hip-hop influenced. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So although Show Me is a, is a dope party turn-up record, my official single had a few is the typical ballad Sammy that the world fell in love with, you know, because I'm a crooner first. So um, we hitting you with a one two punch. And I just think that it's all about balance and giving the people what they need and making sure that they're fulfilled um, wholeheartedly. So this summer be looking out for a lot of great music from me. OK, now. OK, Sammy. Right. You you and my you, you in the A-Town. OK, that's home right now. But you still a Miami boy. Okay. Oh no, Miami, Miami, and Dade County till I die. You know that that's always uh, my heart because that's where my passion for music derived from. My days in Liberty City and Carroll City and going to Early to Heights and Charles Drew. Um, I remember playing Optimus football for Liberty City Warriors and Green Cherry Bulls. So like, my heart will always forever be a Florida boy. You know, Atlanta just embraced me, and I had to to get here to get to you know take over the world, so to yeah. speak. I think you always have to sometimes leave your roots. But never forget your roots. You leave just to go make it, and then you always come back and show love. So Miami and Florida, period, is 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 my state. That's my home. That's that's what's up right there. Now, so you know, you know, you you say you don't you you the prince of R and B, okay? And why you been on a break? Somebody down here in your hometown, his name he go by Ronnie VOP. When I tell you, uh -huh. he is like 
They calling him the new Prince of R&B. I think he, when you come to Miami, you got to meet him and get the you got to <laughs> co-sign him. I'm telling you. No, nah, that's done. That's that's dope. You know what it is? Is mm -hmm. um, and I haven't even done enough to to take that, but I just feel like I embody everything it takes to be a Prince of R&B. To mm -hmm. me, still R. Kelly is still going strong. Yeah, and, and he's still relevant, so he's the king. But yeah, um, until he passes the torch or or or, or somebody comes takes the torch, uh, I, I will always hold myself in that light and that throne because I just know that I can sing with the best of them. I can write with the best of them. I can rock the crowd with the best of them. And I think in this in this industry, you got to have that aura and that mm -hmm. swagger about yourself because if I don't believe in myself, then why am I doing it? You know what I mean? And how can I expect my team and my campaign to go hard for me? So, um, of course, I'm down for the, the, the new talent to come up yeah. and proclaim themselves to such. You, you got to embody them. what it takes and go hard. I, I support it. Yeah, you got to meet them. When you come to Miami... Hit me up and we we gotta put it gotta link y'all two up so you can get yeah, a co sign. Sure. I'm telling for, you. For sure. For he sure. The truth. I definitely wanna support. And he home team, so I gotta get behind him. Yeah, man. So again, I appreciate you checking in. All right. This is your new buzz record when the official single drop. I know you'll be back to, you know, of course. Drop it, debut it right here on the Urban Experience. So go ahead and introduce it and one more time let them know what the what the uh, social media is because you know you just flipped it up from the lead to the Sammy Always. <laughs> yeah, check Sammy. me out on Instagram, check me out on uh Twitter. It's Sammy Always S A M M I E A L W A Y S. Um I just got a Snapchat that's Sammy Lee Bush S A M M I E L E I G H